Hello everyone, it's Christopher Ayers here. Uh, today we're going to be another doing another uh, modification on the Focus RS, um, provided to us by um, your little CNC shop. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be replacing the shifter bushings on the uh, Focus RS from the stock rubber to a new CNC'd anodized billet aluminum piece. These bushings are from your little CNC shop, which I've dealt in the past, I've linked in the past, and I will provide description uh, below on where you can get them. They're a very uh, good price, and the difference that's set apart here is that this actual bushing is a press fit bushing, where the other bushings just slide together once you get them into place and rely on the tension to hold them together. These actually press fit, so once they're pressed together, they will not come apart no matter the situation. So a clear advantage, plus the black anodizing on them. They're not raw aluminum, so we're not gonna see any oxidation from these parts either. So with that said, let's get started with the install. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you a little tour on where these uh, bushings are actually going to be installed. So if we go here past the air box, by the intake, and we look down, you see that silver metal plate right there. That's where the bushings get installed into. So of course we're gonna have to move, remove the intake. We're gonna have to remove the air box. So first thing being first, we're gonna have to remove the top of the air intake box here. We have a seven millimeter here, the back here, the back down here, and one right up front here. I would, I would suggest using a six inch extension with a, a quarter inch ratchet on the seven millimeter. We're gonna get that off and then we'll get to the bottom of the box. All right, once we've gotten the top of the box loose, we can go ahead and take that off, set it aside. Now what we're gonna to wanna to concentrate on is getting this whole assembly out of here. We do have one plug right here that we can disconnect. It's a simple push-pull plug that comes out just like that. We're also going to wanna to disconnect our rubber breather tubes to the box and then we're going to want to disconnect our actual silicone or in stock cases uh, rubber extension from the air box to the intake uh, piping itself. All right now that we've removed the uh, air intake system all the way up to there we can see that the bottom of the air box is held on by two press fit just like the engine cover. One right down in here and then the other one down in this corner. We're just gonna slightly pull up on those, be gentle not to break them, but we'll separate those to get the lower air box out. And this is what your lower air box should look like once it's pulled out and disconnected from the front ram air uh, rubber snap piece that goes over the two tubes going into the air box. We're gonna go ahead and remove that out of the car and have access to that shifter plate. Now, as you guys can see by removing the airbox, it has allowed us access, although it is pretty tight, but I'd rather not remove any more parts to get to it whenever I know I can reach the three bolts that are on there. So we're gonna disconnect this shifter plate with the three bolts. One's going to be on the very left-hand side of the plate, one is in the center of the plate, and one actually wraps around down the bottom of the plate um, on the left-hand side. They're all 10 millimeter. So one of the first things we have to do is actually take the uh, shifter cables off of the shifter assembly right here. We're gonna do that with a pry tool. Basically just shove underneath, give it a pry up, and off. That one's off. Now we're gonna come at from the side one right here and do the exact same thing. Just come in from the side and just pry it carefully and slowly and it'll pop right off the ball stud for you. All right, so what you guys are gonna now see is this pretty large black metal piece right here that's connecting this cable onto the actual piece. What you wanna do with this is grab the metal portion, slide backwards on it with some force, and pull out. And that's gonna pull out very easily. And that basically disconnects all of the cables and now we can go right into uh, replacing the bushings. All right, as, as you guys can see, now that I have this out of the vehicle, this is what this modification is all about. 
is you see these holes right here, here, and here on the back. You see that they have rubber inserts in them, which makes them prone to move. You can even hear the noise of them moving. And this is on a car with 5,000 miles. Imagine one with, you know, 20,000, 50,000 miles. So what we're going to be doing is effectively replacing these silver aluminum pieces with the rubber insert with a full billet aluminum insert. All right, for the removal of these, it's, it's really not that hard, actually. You just go to the back side where the rubber is showing. You can use any one of your fingers to just push on the metal forward. As you can see, it's coming forward. Pull it out, and then that's all you got to use. You can use a screwdriver. It's probably a lot easier, but I'll just use my hands for you guys right now. And pull the rubber bushing out, and you have effectively taken out the stock. Um, actually really really quite crappy quality parts now that I'm holding them um, We'll do that with the other two and all right guys now before we get all the uh, shifter cables hooked back up You should be looking with something like this with the uh, black spacer showing through the uh, secure nuts and uh, Tighten those to hand tight remember you are going into aluminum So do not go too tight as you will cross thread but um, hand tight as they came off pretty much hand tight so as you guys can see we got everything tied back together got the engine cover back on let's take a look inside of the vehicle and see how the shifts uh, sound all right guys I'm just gonna do a quick uh, first through six and uh, let you know if it's crisper and take a listen for yourself And reverse definitely feels a lot tighter definitely worth the mod all right guys I hope you uh, enjoyed today's mod and again I'd like to thank Chris at your little CNC shop that's your little CNC shop.com I'll have that link down below in the uh, comments um, basically giving us good parts for really good prices that are really high quality um, if you guys like the video go ahead and leave a like leave some comments ask some questions and please remember to subscribe for future videos this should be a good compliment to my uh, future shifter install